One of the first things you did after launching your campaign was to issue an apology to the LGBTQ community about your past stances and statements on gay rights. After the Trump administration's rollbacks of civil rights protections for many in that community, why should voters in that community or voters that care about this issue in general trust you now? Well, let me say that there is no one in our government at any level who has the right to tell any American who they should be allowed to love or who they should be allowed to marry. My record in Congress for over six years shows my commitment to fighting for LGBTQ equality. I serve on the Equality <coughs> Caucus and recently voted for passage of the Equality Act. Uh, maybe many people in this country can relate to the fact that I grew up in a socially conservative home, held views when I was very young that I no longer hold today. Uh, I've served with LGBTQ service members, both in training and deployed downrange. I know that they would give their life for me and I would give my life for them. It is this commitment that I'll carry through as President of the United States, recognizing that there are still people who are facing discrimination in the workplace, still people who are unable to find a home for their families. It is this kind of discrimination that we need to address. But it's not Thank enough. It's Thank not you, enough. Congresswoman. If I can add to this, Gavis. it's very important oh, 30 because seconds, this is not Senator. enough. Look, civil rights is some place to begin, but in the African-American civil rights community, another place to focus on was to stop the lynching of African-Americans. We do not talk enough about trans Americans, especially African American trans Americans, and the incredibly high rates of murder right now. We don't talk enough about how many children, about 30% of LGBTQ kids, who do not go to school because of fear. It's not enough just to be on the Equality Act. I'm an original co-sponsor. We need to have a president that will fight to okay. protect LGBTQ Americans Thank every you. single day from violence. Thank you, Senator Booker. Booker. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.